Good morning. I'm Eliza Petrie with your Ag in an instant. First, a look at the market numbers from last week. We saw prices fall for another week in a row. March corn even going below $4, ending at $3.99, which is down 30 cents. Then March soybeans went down 40 whole cents, ending at $11.34. Last Thursday, the EPA approved a request from eight Midwestern governors to allow expanded sales of E15 gasoline in their states. The states include Illinois, Iowa and Missouri. Drivers will be able to put E15 in their tank all year long when in the past it was banned for use in the summer. Increasing the use of biofuels is good news for our farmers as ethanol uses 40% of the nation's corn crop. So more sales of ethanol should equal to greater profits for corn farmers. This goes into effect in 2025. And this past week was an exciting time for high school agriculture students all over the nation as it was FFA week. Mr. Butler, one of Athens FFA advisors, says everyone can find a place within the organization because everyone is somehow connected to agriculture. Knowing where their roots come from, we are an agricultural country. Uh, everything we do is related to agriculture in a way. In the state, one in four people work in agriculture. And so having a week to celebrate that is just kind of, we can kind of highlight the industry and maybe get kids interested. And thank you to the Athens FFA chapter for letting me stop by and join in on the FFA week festivities. And I hope every chapter in our area had a busy but fun FFA week. For your Ag in an Instant, I'm Eliza Petrie. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.